Hey everybody and welcome to a vain ADC gameplay. Um, we normally play Aphilios on this account, but after the last game of getting hardcore camped by all five of the enemy team and then getting flamed for not doing damage because I didn't exist like basically three fourths of the game, we decided we're gonna play Vayne because at least, at least um, then you know we can get flamed for the right reason, which is we're playing Vayne. So. Regardless, we'll see how this is going to go. Ezreal does have Lethal Temple, which is interesting. I took Hail of Blades just because, like, I prefer Hail of Blades on Vayne. Let's you get your three procs pretty quickly. Um, honestly, this lane, we don't win. More than likely, without Fiddle Ganks. Maybe Cannon, like, sets up a nice, like, level 6 cheeky play. Or gets a nice stun and we just steamroll off of that. But, for the most part, we don't win this lane. Um, playing Vayne for the late game. So, it's whatever. I don't care. As long as I don't get five-man camped, it's fine. Because it's a little ridiculous. Like, it's just... I don't know. Last game, when I was playing, like, I got five-man camped. My jungler, like, didn't gank any lanes when he could have ganked mid and top and gotten them ahead. For them putting a punch, bunch of pressure on me. But, yeah. Eh, it's... Eh, it's whatever. I don't know why Fiddle started Q, by the way. It's a little questionable I don't trust this fiddle he obviously doesn't know how to like to buff it or to camp it so whatever but we'll go ahead and we'll just try and have fun because that's the goal of playing on a lower elo account anyways to have fun probably gonna get poked a ton by Senna she tried to poke us and then quit which is interesting well, Kennen hit his Q, so, like, we're good already. Good job, Kennen. I missed one CS, though. Yeah, I don't know. It does get frustrating at points when, like, you have to deal with, um, with all of that as an ADC. Like, I know, I don't know why I have mostly ADCs on this account, by the way. It just kind of happened. Do I need to... I think Kennen's okay. Shouldn't need to heal. Senna has Ignite, I just realized. So that's that's kind of good. That means Senna can get killed. Um, also, Talon got a kill on Karthus. So good job, Talon. Also, I guess like we get kills if Talon roams as well. The only person who probably, like, has worse wave clear than Ezreal early is, like, Vayne. Of course. I was kind of banking on that minion dying. I feel like Ezreal's just, like, super easy to farm with because, like, you can throw Qs and your Qs do more damage than your autos. They're getting Nunu. Get him. I don't know if I'll go like full damage vein. I haven't decided yet. Probably not. I'll probably just go the standard like Blade of the Rune King, Rage Blade into like Frozen Mallet and stuff like that. But yeah. Um, Talon has two kills, so that's pretty big. I am gonna max Q though. I do like having Q max but just because it's like extra damage. I mean, we expect to actually be losing CS. 
in this lane anyway, so I guess we're doing okay. Only being 10 behind. Ezreal's just like such a like easy champion to farm with, honestly. He can be a little difficult to fight, play in the like the team fight phase if you are a little bad on your positioning and everything and your cooldowns, but honestly, like he's a pretty decent champion overall. However, Vayne is like basically right click to win, and I think that's what I need. <laughs> I unfortunately, there, I was going to say there's definitely, see I hate when supports just uh, completely fucking abandon the ADC, like it's so annoying, like help me you asshole, hey at least I get the assist <laughs> from the Talon room. But then Talon hands over shutdown. Like, Cannon is useless, honestly. Yep. <laughs> to be quite honest, Cannon's useless, and Fiddle has not even attempted to gank once. And then Fiddle's gonna push out lane. Okay, good. He's actually not. I knew that Nunu was ganking, but, like, honestly, Cannon just should have stayed with me. We could have, like, bought time for Talon. Talon probably would have gotten a triple. I just can't play with passive supports, dude. Like, supports who just, like, abandon everything. It just sucks. Like, have some balls. Get a pair. No, don't... Uh... I didn't want to push lane, I was freezing it intentionally because they're going to be able to get back in time. Idiot. And then and then there's supports who just like screw up your idea of a freeze. Because they don't understand what freezing is in the CLO. Uh, it sucks. See like this is why I didn't want to push because like there's no way we push fast enough to where Ezreal and Senna lose farm and then... It's going to put us in a bit of a conundrum. I guess the only good thing is, is we are able to, like, kind of try and get Dragon off of this, so. Well, we get one kill. Can you body block for me, Kennen? Thank you. Oh my gosh. You asshole. And then he body blocks me from being able to run. I need Kennen to get out of my lane, honestly. Like, he needed to body block the Ezreal Q, so I didn't get completely destroyed by the freaking Ezreal alt afterwards. This is why I don't like playing ADC, honestly. The problem is just having super passive... For whatever reason, when I play ADC, I can't get a single jungler. If Kennen had gone in on that, I actually would have gone with him. Because I think we actually probably could have killed. See, like... The supports that are just like, oh, well... We're just going to sit in our tower. Like, they're under tower, Kennen. Go for it. Net, see, now he's going to go for it, and it's going to be... Oh my gosh.
there. It worked out because they didn't try and fight. I was going to say, now he's going to go for it, and I can't do anything. But it worked out. So that was actually a good play by Cannon. Oh, I didn't even realize set is, like, destroying. He would have been able to get two plates if Kennen had stayed, but he decided to go roam. Where? Oh no, he decided to back. I was like, wait, what did he even roam to? No, he decided to back. Well, we have our Blade of the Rune King, which is nice. That helps, at least. I know this is pro so this is not usually how I am. I'm not usually this toxic, but I'm still probably a little tilted from last game. But I don't know. I probably should just like not <laughs> be tilted from last game because obviously that was bad. But like I really do hate it when supports just play like uber uber passive. Like I get waiting for your time to do stuff, but There is a difference between waiting for your time to do stuff and then just doing nothing. Interesting. Oh, we need to help. Actually, Talon's fine. I forget he's a Talon. I was like, oh, we need to help Talon. Wait, no, we don't. He's a Talon. He's fine. He's just going to play Assassin's Creed now. Oh, we do have Fiddle here, which is nice. I mean, he knows we got Fiddle here, right? I want Fiddle to, like, pull it and go for it. Oh, he's waiting for Flash. There. I somehow am on a killing spree. There. I was going to say, let me come this away. Oh, Cloud Drake is actually, we really want that on Fiddle. I mean, I kind of get Set being a little frustrated, but like, at the same time, I'm the benefactor of Fiddle Sin Pot Lane for like 20 minutes. Now I'm being left by my own support, which kind of sucks. Oh, Kennen's coming back though. Judgment. 
Kind of the nice thing is, is that like I'm getting pretty decently fed. However, I now have 300 gold that they're definitely going to want to try and get. You went Iceborne, huh? Hmm. This fiddle is not like the fiddle that I was up against last game, unfortunately. <laughs> if he was, he would just like legit be doing everything. Why? We run from the new new. We don't play games with the new new. That works. I am completely fine, honestly. I might actually go the full damage vein build. I was gonna say, at least let me get my cannon. Should be able to take tower actually off of this. Like, honestly, like, Ezreal having Iceborne Gauntlet does not matter. He is so much weaker because of it. Um, we probably need to go mid lane. Because that's five. We're good. Spittle just going to go for it. He's going to take a bit. Advantage to having Vayne. Shredding stuff really quickly. I just need a little bit of these minions bot lane to... Blade, then we're gonna probably get Death Dance, I guess. Actually, or we could get Bloodthirster as well. Actually, Bloodthirster wouldn't be a bad idea. And then I guess we'll get two. Well, actually, no, we don't really need crit. 
Like, as you can see, we already chunk him pretty easily. Yeah, the reason I went for Senna in that fight is because I didn't want her to be, like, dealing damage and healing her allies. So I just took her out of the fight early, since they were already dealing with the other four. It just made it, like, really, really simple to deal with. We've got a Nunu and a Senna coming bot. Probably. Actually, they're not. I need to swap to Blue Trinket. Um, top lane kind of keeps losing all these towers, though, which sucks. And that's a shutdown, which also sucks. I need Kennen to go in, but he can't. So we'll just have to give that mid tower. Orn's the only one I don't have for my Ravenous Hunter. I hope Kennen can find Ezreal. He's probably gone by now. Yeah. They definitely are coming bot for me, for sure. Uh, Karthus has to be the last one we actually kill. Set's going for it. Alright, we can kill him early, and then he just gets no value out of his passive if Set would walk away. That's how you play Vayne, baby! Weave and duck. Duck and weave. Get a tower. There. And we clear that, and then we're just gonna back at this point. Orn's getting Bramble, but... The, uh, okay, we don't get it back. Because Karthus showed up. Then there's Nunu. We should get to back now. Set doesn't have teleport, so Orn's probably going to come in as part of this fight. This will be nice to pick up this Infernal Soul, though. Yeah, see, like, if it actually, so that we can kill Karthus first, as long as he's, like, not part of the fight.
Can you guys fight with me? Is that possible? I guess it's not. Like, legit, just fight with me, honestly. Set's getting top. I don't know why my team ran at that point, actually. It's a little confusing, honestly. Like, seriously, just fight with me. Like, I was shredding Orn. Take me no time to get this red buff. Like that's the thing about Vayne is I, I can go after the tanks and be completely fine. I can't get to them. Um, let's get Phantom Dancer for the, well, also, not just attack speed, but also, like, the shield would be nice. Like, I don't think Fiddle realizes that, like, I could not really take the time to peel, because I would have died at that point, because Orn's cooldowns were up. Wow! I've never seen a Karthus die so fast! bad. Hush. Doggos are barking at like nothing. We could literally get Baron. Okay, fine. I probably have enough life still to solo Baron, so I don't care. The answer is yes, I do. I have Phantom Dancer, so that's good.
Now, here's the question. Do I want Infinity Edge? I actually might. I haven't gotten a full damage vein build in a while, honestly. Although, to be quite clear, this is probably more of a sustain build. I mean, that's a dead center. The Senna keeps getting caught out. That's probably game. That actually, yeah, that that's for sure game at this point. Um, yeah. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that vein game. We will see you guys later, and goodbye.